That was the song Canopy by Australian singer-songwriter Marin Jean. She has recently released an eponym debut album featuring seven carefully crafted and very intimate indie folk tracks. And she joins me now in the studio. Thanks so much for being here, Thanks Marin. Really excited me. to have you here. <laughs> cool. Now, your album was released recently. Here it is, Marin Jean. And uh, when it was released, you uh, you wrote something on on social media saying the blooming of my debut little album. Uh, it took a beautiful four years. It's now a flower you can pick from every garden. I love that image of a blossoming for a uh, first album. What inspired you for this first album? Um, I don't know. The songs have kind of come about since I was about 16 or 17. And over the years, just different, I don't know, observations of feelings of people, society, family. I don't know, images in my mind of different things. I think it was just that expression of... Uh, I don't know. I think a big se- a topic of it was lose- losing innocence in the sense of growing up, you know, and going through those first things that like, oh, my God, <laughs> oh, okay, you know, those life-changing things moving from one thing to another. And, yeah, so I don't know. There wasn't something specific. It was just kind of like as I was getting older, that, that was what was coming out. So As you were yeah. blossoming, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first song on your debut album is actually a question. Uh, it's Am I Plastic? Mm. So what is the answer? Um, well... You know, it's up and down. Sometimes I say yes, sometimes I say no. <laughs> it's not plastic in a material sense. It's more just the not being completely honest with myself and with people around me and just feeling like the 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 me who's with friends and with people sometimes is not the me who I am with all the time. And it was just a question of that in, in a more darker time, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. 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 So sometimes plastic, sometimes not. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> We're actually going to listen to a, another song uh, off your album. It's called Seesaw. Take a listen. Moonlight fades when the beast escapes Your troubled man that feels so blind to the heroes and sun And you wonder where it all went wrong And make it bold, your skin is long What if first will be so new See that world in black and white So that's a, a live performance of that song, Seesaw, that you performed at the uh, Église Saint-Eustache, so yes. a, a church here in the heart of Paris, which is a beautiful church, by the way. And yeah. actually, you live in Paris. Yes, uh, I do. It's kind of a far away from your native Australia. How did you yes. end up here? Um, just, I guess, since I was a kid and a teenager growing up with my, my friends, we were always dreaming of Paris, really, so much. And um, my friend was really into French cinema, so we were constantly watching movies and the music and everything, and I was just so inspired. So I think I came after I finished school and just kept coming back. And then um, music ended up kind of bringing me here for work. Uh, you know, I came here three or four times in a year and then once for two days and then back to Paris just for a concert. So I was like, maybe I should, you know, head over here for real. Yeah, so that's kind of how. And then I just, yeah. Because the work that brought you here was actually a collaboration with a French a DJ, yes. Mum. Yes. Uh, in 2016, you released a, a song called Aloha. It became yes. a massive summer yes. hit. Uh, yeah. Over 40 million views on YouTube, I saw. Yeah. What was that experience like? It was interesting because it was done very uh, naturally. I just messaged him on Instagram one day and was like, hey, want to make a song? And he sent me the, the track. And I, over time, I was on tour with a band too. I actually found out about him from. Mm-hmm. And I was, we were kind of on the road in the bus and I just started you know, recording all these things. And I ended up recording the final take under a blanket <laughs> in my friend's apartment, which was quite pretty funny. So it was not at all expected for that to happen. And it was um, yeah, pretty wild. And I, I, I felt like a bit of a... Rock star. <laughs> no, I felt actually a bit out of my depth. I just was like, whoa, whoa. You know, yeah. it all happened very unexpectedly. And I didn't, I was very much alone mm-hmm. doing everything by myself. And I didn't really understand how to... You know, but it was so fun performing. I was just like yeah. really crazy. I mean, at one one time I thought we were doing a radio show, like an interview, and I was freaking out about having to speak French. 
But then they're like, oh, no, you're performing. And there were 15,000 people. Oh, <laughs> but it was actually like, whoa, it was so fun. So lots of things like that where I was like, wow, this is just amazing. Jump, jumped right into the deep end yeah, with that so song. Cool. But yeah. getting back to your record, you yeah. actually released a visualized version of your record. I so did. 22 minutes of footage. It's kind of like an album length music video, yes. right? Yeah. And it's so, you put French subtitles on this, which I love. Uh, now, <laughs> Terrible French <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> Tell us about the, the footage, though, because these are actually images that, that you shot, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. They're my, um, just on my iPhone and also um, on a little camcorder. I mm-hmm. bought off Le Bon Coin, you know, oh, like whatever. And just uh, like a website where you can buy all sorts of yeah, things. Yeah, secondhand yeah. things, which is so fun going to people's apartments and, you know, discovering when you're buying something. Anyway, um, so yeah, over the last three or four years, I've discovered my love for filming and I just had all of these images and I didn't realize, know why I was filming all mm-hmm. the time. And then I ended up making this. And so now I've started to make little movies like this all the time and I'm, yeah, I'm really interested. And I think this this album is quite cinematic and I, I think, I feel like I'm quite visual and I'm seeing the world like in depth all the time. Mm-hmm. I think it was a really great way for me to kind of release that, all of this imagery and then with the music and find the relationship between both and yeah. Because it really fits into your kind of music universe, which yes. is very, very unique because you have this very unique voice as well. It's mm. it's very melancholic. There's something very dreamy, but it's not at all sad either. I mean, there's, mm. it's kind of a sad element, but it's not depressing. Yeah. What what artists inspire you? Oh, um, <laughs> well, it's a tough question. <laughs> I've said in the past that I feel like artists inspire me more for their character. Mm-hmm. And the I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'm directly like... I can't think I'm directly feeding from artists, you know, when I'm writing music kind of thing, but of course, the more you play them stuff. Nina Simone was the first artist that I remember going. I asked my mum, like, oh, who's this man? And my mum was just (laughs) laughing, like, that's Nina Simone. And I was like, I'm in love with her. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, other than her, I mean, Arthur Russell is um, my biggest go-to. I think he's an an artist from America. Mm -hmm. He wasn't really that well-known, and just now he's starting to surface and he really was a mover shaker in in the music and yeah he's very much a inspiration yes <laughs> and so and so one last question what what's next are you gonna stay here in Paris or what do, what do you what yeah do you I mean again Paris has a plan for a while and just start trying to play some more gigs here and you know become a part of the community here and yeah I don't know after that I've been in London a bit and really loving London so I'm hoping to kind of go back drift and forth. between which you know I'm like wow we're so close here which is like Australia it's yep. not so <laughs> it's nice yeah to realize I can go wherever so we'll, we'll look forward mm-hmm. to following your your music news and we're actually going to move on to some other music news that's uh, making uh, headlines right now now five and a half years after his last studio album American singer-songwriter Bill Callahan is back with an album it's called Shepherd in a sheepskin vest now a lot has happened to the 53 year old in that time he got married he had a baby. In short, the traditionally solitary baritone has tapped into a whole new range of songwriting material, and the result is beautiful. Now, Shepherd in a Sheepskin Vest is a sun-warmed double album, 20 songs from his perspective as a new husband and a father. Here's a song off that album. It's called Angela. Love goes on like bird song as soon as possible. After a bomb, Angela With every loss we rise again With new strength and new purpose Now moving on, uh, at 86 years old, American singer-songwriter, musician, actor, producer, author, poet, and activist, Willie Nelson is prolific as ever just six months after releasing his Grammy-winning Frank Sinatra tribute album, My Way, he's releasing Ride Me Back Home. By some counts, it's his 74th studio album, solo album. Now, Ride Me Back Home features 11 tracks mixing darkly funny originals with surprise covers. Here's the song Ride Me Back Home, a heartwarming tribute to horses who have seen better days. Take a listen. Just ride me back home Ride me back home To a much better place Blue skies and sunshine And plenty of space Somewhere where they would just Leave you alone Somewhere that you could call
We'll have to leave you with that. But before we go, I want to thank our guest, Marin Jane. Thank, excuse me, Jean. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> on our show. And do check out her album, so called Marin Jean. Now, you're actually going to play us out with a song, a song we heard at the beginning of the show, Canopy, yes. live version. Now, uh, we'll listen to that in just one sec. But before we go, you can always check out more arts and culture news on our website. And, of course, stay tuned to France 24. More news coming up right after this. Canopy of sound. Engulfing all my thoughts I am alive but I'm very lost My body is still covered in clothes And I won't dare take them out Yes, I want to Mystery has done me wrong My words, they are not my own They're not my own We're losing the heart of our homes You cannot build walls around things you don't own You cannot build walls around things you don't own Pensez, tu dois penser tout le temps Pensez, tu dois penser tout le temps Pensez, tu dois penser tout le temps Parce que un jour la vie s'arrête Un jour la vie s'arrête